What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. Three new products. Can you believe it? That's right, three new products have recently been released. You probably have already heard about all of these. New in the Quick Run series, a new G2 version of the 10BL120 censored, an all new XE Run XR10 stock spec G2 and a completely new 28 millimeter size micro motor. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the new 28 series of XE Run motors. These are made for like 14th scale vehicles, or you could even run these in some of the 12 scale applications that are out there these days. They're gonna come in, I think, I wanna say three different KVs. I only have the pre-information on them yet. Uh, 2800 KV like I have here. There's a 4000 KV and a 4300 KV as well. And these should be available very soon. Like I said, these are made for like the 14 scale vehicles that are out there. And so with that, they have a normal eighth inch or 3.1275 whatever it is millimeter output shaft so normal size output shaft here like you would find on a regular motor uh, as the name implies 28 millimeter diameter and a 48 millimeter length we'll do that in imperial uh, one point give it call it 1.9 inches on the length and about 1.1 inches on the diameter. Now this is a fully censored four pole motor. There's a sensor port on the back, solder tabs on the top with the A, the B, and the C. And it does use, like I said, the full size eighth inch pinion gear shaft. So it's easy to get the pinions for it. And you do see here, um, I'll get a caliper here on these motor holes to give you an idea. There will be a link in the description down below that has the hard information on this data, but you got one set that's, we'll call that probably 19, 20 millimeter spacing, I think is what the, that guy is for the, the center to center on the motor screws. And then on these other ones, these guys are a little narrower. These are more along the lines like 17 millimeter and both of these guys are the same. So you do have some mounting option uh, holes there. And like I said, this is just a pre-production sample. We're gonna do a full-blown unboxing on these once I get that in, but that is just a quick look at the new XE Run 2848 series of micro motors. It's, it's so small. Let me hold this up to a regular size motor. So this is like a normal 3652 motor. You see, it's, it's quite a bit smaller, more along the lines of like a 400 size motor than a, this is like a 540. So this is not quite as small as a 380 size, kind of bigger than that. So it's kind of unique. But yeah, that is a very quick look at the all new XC Run 2848 motor from Hobbywing. An update to the Quick Run series. The Quick Run 10BL120 Censored has been around for a second. It's been a fan favorite, and this is the G2 version of that with some updated, I guess, design core internal stuff. The circuit boards are all been kind of beefed up a little bit. It has 12 gauge wire on it, new power capacitor built into it, has some new settings. So this is the Quick Run 10BL120 G2 censored edition. Uh, as you always, we'll have a link in the description down below to give you some more information on this. It is rated for two to three cell LiPo and it's a 120 amp rating. And th those amp ratings are based off of the specifications of the components we use. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's really gonna see 120 amps in real life all the time. But we'll throw the calipers on here for the sizing you got 44 millimeter on what would be the length and I go I like to do it from the the PC board itself you got 37 and some change and the case itself is 31 maybe 32 call it and then our height to the top of the heat sink is going to be 22 we call it 23 and then all the way up to the top of the screws on the fan you're all the way up to 34 uh, this does have heavy duty 12 gauge color coded wire. I know not everyone's a fan of the all black wire, so it's nice that that's there to keep it nice and simple on you. Uh, this guy, as it's a G2 model, it does work with the LCD Programming Box Pro, so you'll be able to use that with this as well. It does have the classic button switch design for easy calibration. But once we get the production version of this, the package one, we'll do a full unboxing, plug it in, get it working. But this is just a quick look at the all new Quick Run 10BL120 G2 censored version. Spec racing fans rejoice. There is a new stock spec speed control and it is ready for 2S racing applications. This is a 2S version. It has the new variable drive frequencies. It has variable brake frequencies. It has the separate 
drag brake frequency, reverse voltage protection is built into the speed control. It's got an updated BEC and it is still the same great size and weight, but they managed to get the weight lower down in the speed control. They designed the insides to get the heavy parts lower. So a lot of attention to detail has been spent on the stock spec G2 edition to get it kind of up to snuff with uh, the XR10 G2S, if you will. Uh, stock spec's been around for a very long time. It's been a fan favorite in the spec racing world. You can't really find a more power packed tiny speed control than you can with a stock spec. And so it's great to see an update here. New case design. It still has the heavy duty wires, power cap, uh, it's got a new kind of updated smaller style power cap but again this is another one of my pre-production prototypes so don't don't quote me there should be, there could be some changes by the time you guys all get this one uh, when I do get a packaged production version of this, we will do a deep dive where we'll do the unboxing, run through the features, hook it up to a tuner. But SSX XC Run Series, this will work with all of the programming devices except for the LED card. Uh, works with the OTA, works with the LCD Programming Box G2, LCD Programming Box Pro G3, or it will work with the Bluetooth features that are in the tunalizer as well. Check the link in the description down below if we have any hard specs for this to post right now. We'll make sure that that happens. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's throw the calipers on here. So you got 13, call it 14 millimeter height from the bottom to the top. That is a short little guy for uh, the low profileness of it all. 30 millimeters on the width and our case length, or I guess that would be the length. The case length down here is still just under 29. You go out to the edge of the board and you're going to be just under 35. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look at the all-new XR10 stock spec G2 coming soon to a hobby shop near you. And like I said, when we get the production version, we will do a full-blown unboxing and run through all the cool features that this guy has to offer. That's just a glance at what it's got.